So now let's see how we can work around with color adjustment options inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So to work around with color adjustment options, you can go around over here on to the color um, option under adjustment, where which you can access uh, where, when you're on the quick editing mode. And then once you click on this over here, you can see that by default saturation is here. So you can go around, select from one of these options, which has different level of saturations, click on auto for auto saturation level over here, or you can go around and increase the saturation by using the slider. So saturation uh, refers to the level um, of colors in a picture right here. So you can really increase it out and um, the colors are added all the way while you're, you can decrease it out to make the picture look black and white as well. So let me just go around and increase the saturation right here. Then you can work around with the hue which refers to the color um, uh, tone right here. So you can go around and change the color spectrum of the entire picture so that it looks different over here as well. So sometimes you may not have the correct uh, tone of the colors in that case you can uh, go around and change around the hue of the picture over here as well So let me just go around and choose uh, uh, Just use the slider to get the effect that I want then you can go around onto vibrance and vibrance affects out the areas um, uh, that are uh, that that have less color more so let's say for example th these areas have less color and these have more color right here so it will affect out these areas without the color more so you can go around and increase out the brightness level as you can see right here or you can go around decrease it out right here but the ones with more color stays uh, as it is as you can see so so the the areas without the color gets affected more when you use the vibrance option so usually it's a good idea to increase out vibrance and then decrease out saturation to balance everything out in your pictures and that is how you can work around with color adjustments inside of adobe photoshop elements so i hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe